I am here um, at the Merge Summit with star of Preachers of L.A., Pastor Wayne Cheney and his wife, singer Maisha Cheney, talk about a power couple, right? And you guys are going to be speaking at one of the panels this week, which is yes. called Faith, Love, and Success, right? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so what one piece of advice do you give to couples, not to give too much away from what you're going to say at the panel, but what, what advice do you give for making a relationship last in Hollywood? Now listen, I think, you know, the, the principles, whatever environment you're in, hold true, no matter where you find yourself. And I think that, you know, one of the things that we've experienced, someone asked me the question today, were you madly in love when you got married the first year? And, you know, I said, no, we're in love, you know, and they said, wait a minute, is something going on? Are you in love now? I said, absolutely. One of the things we found is that, you know, love grows. Most people are married, you know, on the honeymoon, that, that, that snippet of time becomes the standard for the rest of their life they try to live up to. For us, that was the floor. I mean, that, that's what began the journey. But we have to work at, again, enhancing, improving the marriage so that we have what we have now. And my prayer is that five, ten years from now, we'll be even more in love and, uh, you know, as the depth of our experience uh, uh, grows together. And so I, I want to say to people, be willing to allow the love to grow. Don't expect, expect yes. it all to be there up front, but allow, allow the love to grow and work at it. Wow, great advice. And I would just say to um, always be sensitive to one another. Like, there are certain things that I know I want to do, but I'm sensitive to the needs of my marriage and my relationship. So in Hollywood, marriage can work in, in any, any, any space. I think marriage works if there are two people that are sensitive to one, one another's needs, desires, and goals. Well, based on the success of Preachers of L.A., um, I would imagine that they may start doing a franchise, kind of how they've done with other series. So what is your prediction for maybe what the next city would be? A Preachers of where? You think you're going to get the good, huh? You put that yeah. smile on. You're I know, trying to get right, the good right, from right, us. Right, right, right. right. I it's think I have some, an idea. I think I know. in the works already. But you, you're trying to get me fired. If I tell you, yeah. I'll probably end up fired. But listen, I can it promise is you. So there is something in the works there. There is something in the works. Absolutely. The cities are being scouted, and there may even be more progress than that. Preachers of Georgia. Preachers of Atlanta. No. Um, it's coming soon. For sure. But as soon as I hear something and I'm released to release the information, I'll make sure you're the first to know. Yes. You heard it here first. Black Hollywood Live is getting the first interview when they announce the new season of Preachers of wherever it may be. Well, thank you so much for speaking so much. with us. No thank you so much. Thanks for what you do. We have a blast every time we're a part of the show. Thanks. Enjoy your concert tonight. Thank you. Thanks.